All right, let's get into the newest Leash Anderson trade rumors. The New York Rangers prospect drafted from 2017. The guy yeeted back over to Europe earlier this season, abandoned the Hartford Wolfpack, and now, because he's been in the SHL, people are talking about trade rumors. Okay, the Canadians, they should get him. What about a one-for-one one with Paul Uyarvi? Maybe that's good enough. What other teams could get Leash Anderson? Well, what about the team that already owns his rights? Yeah, the New York Rangers. Today we're talking about a topic that was incited by a few reports that I saw yesterday that I really was kind of shocked to see to some capacity. Now, after thinking about it a little bit more, it makes perfect sense to me, but the way this unfolded, the way this story went from Anderson talking about how he was apparently bullied in the NHL environment and how he didn't like playing in Hartford and that he wanted to get away from the Rangers organization, going over to Sweden and doing really successfully over there while all the trade rumors started bubbling up in North America, it's really interesting for me to read the tweet that initially came out. Per Relander Johan, the New York Rangers are talking to Leash Anderson to be able to use him in the upcoming playoffs. Both GM Davidson and Coach Quinn have called Sweden in order to get Anderson interested in playing for the Rangers in the playoffs. Now, that is a tweet over here from Patrick Bexell. Now, normally, this is where I would go over onto the article and read a few excerpts from the piece and go over a few quotes if there are any available. But this article is coming from a paid-for content subscription-based format journalism site in Swedish, so I can't really do that. I don't have a subscription to Gotesborg Posten, and I didn't even pronounce that right. I know that. So let's just go over this idea right here. The tweet says that both the GM and the coach have called Sweden to get Anderson interested in coming back. Now, at first glance, I read this and I was like, Huh? Why? This guy abandoned your team. This guy made it very clear that he doesn't want to play for your organization. This guy, who has been the subject of trade rumors for months, is totally a player who wouldn't want to do that, right? But then, I kind of took a step back and I said, okay, let's go over what exactly the quotes were that Leash Anderson had when he talked about why he left the Rangers. And he didn't say anything outright, but he did allude to a few incidents that have happened. And a lot of the implications were, via rough translations from Swedish into English when the articles were published, related to bullying. Now, I know that it's a very heavy topic, especially in today's atmosphere with current events and the overall state of societal norms nowadays, but with this whole movement that's going on, I think if there's any time ever to try to convince Elias Anderson that, hey, whatever bullying problems you were experiencing with the Rangers back then when you were in this organization with this team earlier in 2019, that is absolutely not going to happen anymore. I think this is the time where you can really say, yeah, authority figures need to listen, People need to do their part in standing up for one another, and this would be a very, very appropriate time to make that message. Now, obviously, I don't want to sit here and say that, oh, the Rangers are using current events to try to get Leish Anderson to come back. That's not what I'm trying to say entirely, but I do think that the current events now play a part in the ability to bring him back and the likelihood that you're going to be able to do that. But at the same time, Leish Anderson, you gotta remember, folks, was a guy who was actually really good when he left the Rangers and started playing for the HV-71 hockey team in the SH. Let's go over his production that he had all the way back there towards the end of the 2020 season, which doesn't really seem too far away, but actually kind of is, which is really, really shocking. It's the beginning of June. Oh man, it doesn't feel great at all. 
Leah Shanderson finished off the SHL campaign that he had with 12 points in 15 games. He was given opportunity, and he was really, really good. He hadn't had any significantly high production throughout the past few seasons in the NHL and the AHL. I mean, I guess his Hartford Wolfpack year in 2019 was pretty okay, but for the most part, Leash Anderson played what many would say was his best hockey in Sweden, finishing off the 2020 season. And now, you have the opportunity to take a look at this guy and say, yeah, he was really good. And we have hockey games coming up in a few months. What's there to lose in trying to get this player, who was effective, back for our team? See if, I don't know, he can slot in there in that second line position, or maybe play a wing spot. Who knows? Another argument that I saw that people were talking about was the potential absence of Capo Caco. Now, some people may not know this, but Capo Caco has diabetes, meaning that he and a few other NHL players who do have diabetes, like Max Domi, for example, they are questionable as to whether or not they're going to be cleared medically to play in these play-in series and eventually the Stanley Cup playoffs. If the New York Rangers are in a position where Capo Caco is not available to play, then they'll have no choice but to leave him out of the lineup. Now, that's not to say that Capo Caco has been amazing this past season, because I certainly wouldn't say that he was, but that's still an effective NHL caliber player that you have on your roster that may need to get pulled out. So, it makes all the more sense to try to add as many players as you can, because you can't sign anybody, that's illegal, you can't do that. You can only sign people for next season and beyond, unless I believe you already had their rights, I'm not too sure how that works, but that's what I believe. And Leah Anderson is a guy who they already have in their system, technically speaking, that many people kind of did have their own very strong opinions about as to whether or not he should or would or where he would get traded to. But now, if the New York Rangers are able to add a Leash Anderson to their roster, and let's say, for all intents and purposes, Coach Quinn gives Leash Anderson the right opportunity to succeed. He hasn't been the best in terms of giving the young guys their playing time on the forward core. We saw that with Capo Caco this past season. But let's say Leash Anderson is given the right opportunities and the right exploitations of his skills. What if the Rangers add the SHL version of Leash Anderson to their team? What if they take a roster that may or may not include Capo Caco, let's say for the sake of medical safety and evolution, that Capo Caco does get cleared to play and he ends up playing in the series against Carolina. Take that roster and you add a potentially very good offensive player in Leash Anderson who has very good defensive capabilities as well. All of a sudden, the Carolina Hurricanes have so much more reason to fear the Rangers now, man. There is legitimate potential in Leash Anderson, and I have always been a believer in that. Even if you watch our video that we made a few months ago, what's next for Leash Anderson? I said, this guy is going to be solid. It's just... His opportunities, his experiences so far in North America haven't been the best, and in the only few recent moments that he has had away from North America, the guy's been good. He's been really good. Seriously, you don't see too many young SHL players getting just under a point per game like he did. Now, obviously, some people will discredit the production. Oh, it's the SHL. He's supposed to do really well over there. Okay, you could say that. Totally say that. That's fine. But... I will just say that it's better to see those numbers than to not see those numbers. Would you rather have Leish Anderson go over there as just under a point per game player, or would you rather have him go over there and get the same production that he had in New York? You would probably say the former. So, if the Rangers are able to get the SHL version of Leish Anderson and Coach Quinn allows him to play like that, then this could be the ultimate wildcard move in adding a player who could be so effective that he even may be a complete upgrade over Capo Caco. 
but all that's going to be determined soon in the future, and we will learn whether or not the Rangers are able to get it done and actually convince Leish Anderson to come back and play for their hockey team against Carolina, but we won't know that for a while. So comment down below what you think about Leish Anderson coming back. If you still want to trade him, if you still want your team to make a trade for him, comment down all those thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Search of that trolls 99 and bye. <laughs>